Central presented by Hyundai is on there. We tried? Oh, I tried. I stayed up late, Dodgers pods, watching the West Coast. I tried to take it somewhere else than Yanks Braves, but I'm sorry. Is that what we're... I, 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 treatment. I know. But we talk about A-block treatment. Right. We're also... Uh, the C They just keep winning and winning. I mean, coming off another big win over the Oakland A's. And I remember last week... It's another good outing for him. And he was phenomenal as well. So, yeah, Seattle right in the mix. We have ourselves a show. Hours, Sean Casey in house and Miguel Cabrera coming on. Yeah, we Miguel Cabrera coming up top of the hour. to visit 11 a.m. with him. Hey, the Giants are the first team to 80 wins. They lead the West in large part because of their veterans. Brandon Belt went off and post game. He talked about how that game highlights and we look at the numbers. Human beings, right? And you found and him. You have to believe in a little bit of fate, right? He loses his grandmother, comes out. Performance for the for the Giants uh, yesterday against the Mets. When we talk about flex and I've seen Red Sox, we like to focus on J.D. or Devers or Xander Bogarts. And uh, credit to you, every time you say Hunter Renfro. That he plays the heck out of a right field. One of the he best really defenders. Like you like this. this? Yeah. Guys that have exceeded expectations. Greener on the other side. Not always the case for everyone, but I think for certain guys. I'm going to leave it to position players here because pitchers, okay. you know, the Rodons sure. of the world and everything, we can get into it. But there's five position players that I think, even for me, coming into the season, wow. Like, time for us to realize these guys are Ooh, good. I'm curious. Ooh, right. Let's the run open. the open. Where's he going to finish in the no side? Way. Young? I just, like, if he would have gave you 500... Sean, he goes tonight, right? And he's got 40. That's, it's remarkable. And, and enjoy, he's 5 He goes oh, against five. the Orioles, by the way. Oh. Yeah, he's got a chance yeah. to go multi deep. The. Who's the Eli Jones? Ball. The, that kid from uh, Pacific Northwest. By the way, Northwest. Willie was Im impossible to foreshadow for anyone. I mean, but if he you was say there that for the take. That. I'll say this. We we're talking about it again last night. I understand. Like, and look, kudos to that. They obviously hit. showed him something. This guy can't hit something. Before. No. Like you, if you look at the numbers now, you realize that he couldn't yeah. hit at the trot. But at the time, we, right. it wasn't a it wasn't a storyline at all. Hey, we got two hours. We have Miguel Cabrera profile. It, it will affect them. It will allow a team like you said, Tampa. Will They're taking full accountability for that. They made moves at the deadline. Heck, they made moves in the off season, which makes this slide. More difficult? Yes, right? and I would show up to spring training feeling like my starting rotation is a strength going into the okay. 2022 season. Still feeling pretty darn good about yeah. the future. Okay. Orioles aren't feeling bad for the pods. That's for darn sure. 19 straight losses. You covered. What a time to go to dinner, by the way. Yeah, well, you couldn't the wedding but Frank had taken over to 0 and 6. Cell phones. People drove around with their lights on during the day to support the team. There was a dip. Oh, hey, Otani. Here you go on a platter oh, yeah. tonight. Um, Both sides. We were talking before the show, Ken, that sometimes... We're Both sorry. sides of the story. <laughs> I just want to know where DeGrom went. Where is he? He's hurt. Bills are in a stretch that they need to end. Last night, they lost their 19th straight ball game, and it ain't getting any easier. When Shohei Otani takes the mound tonight in Baltimore, his numbers, as you would guess, ridiculous. 8-1, a 2-7-9 ERA so far this season. Houston got past the Royals, which from the surface, you would think, big deal, right? But they had lost their previous 4-5 against them, and they wrap up the series this afternoon with Lance McCullers, Mike Miner, and perhaps most importantly, Alex Bregman back after 59 games and it's been all hands on deck for the Rays with the absence of Tyler Glass now of course we've heard that before but they always come through and tonight that responsibility lies in the hands of Ryan Yarborough at Citizens Bank just after 7 p.m. Eastern time can't wait. Who's this kind of that's right have you Very made point. perfect decisions throughout your life. No I mean <laughs> I, the answer would be no but I would yes I would say yes. <laughs> Okay. Like salsa in it. Then we're doing something. <laughs> if you're gonna, if, do it. That was not the daylight play. I did not. We're taking home. Speaking of flashing leather, we got 30 seconds to answer it. I, I've got this song. Uh, and like, Crash, Dave Matthews. Oh, that's a good one. Spinners. Uh, okay. That's a good one. That's a good one. Come on, come up with something, something better Neil than that. Diamond.